Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. .org. From the world-famous Sugar Shack Studios outside Houston, Texas, this is the In Wheel Time car talk show. I need to do, do my contract then. You, what contract? Worldwide. World, well, we are. We're nationwide. <clears throat> Welcome to the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Uh, right now, as a matter of fact, we're going to get an update on the third annual upcoming Hot Rod Tour of Texas from the guys that put it all together. Okay, Masterminds. The masterminds behind oh this whole boy. thing. Bobby Sparkman and Jeremy Taylor. Plus, we'll get you caught up on the stories making automotive news headlines this week. Howdy along with Mike out of this world, Mars. We always need more Jeff Zekin. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad that you uh, made it to the show this morning. Very much so. We are, too. (laughs) It was raining. It it has been. It's been a a rather wet morning Mm -hmm. around town. Uh, I've been up for quite a while because the lightning... Uh, shut the electricity off earlier, and oh, thank really? goodness that the power company got it back on right away. Oh, wow. So we had that to mess with everybody. Uh, yeah, by the no way, I, I did want to say that in the last segment, we were supposed to have Mars review, but because we ran behind getting the boys on from the woodlands, uh, we're going to move that to this hour, okay? Yep. So that's going to go right here car review. I have to write this down because if you think that I can remember this a few minutes from now, you are so so very wrong. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. On I my wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get on with it. Uh, Bobby Sparkman, Jeremy Taylor, Hot Rod Tour of Texas. Gentlemen, good there morning. Are. How are you doing? Good morning, guys. Good morning. Where are you guys? We're, we're in downtown Victoria for, yeah? uh, for our Cars and Coffee. Oh, the Cars and Coffee thing is this morning. It looks like uh, some, is that a Mexican restaurant behind you? It is a, there's a Mexican restaurant behind us, and there's a little uh, Americana restaurant across the street where we that hosts us every morning called the Waterwell Cafe. Nice. Little mom, little mom and pop operation. You know, I've been kind of following you guys with this, uh, this cars and coffee thing that you guys are doing, and apparently it's going pretty well. How many cars do you usually got, got uh, coming out uh, for your event? Uh, 30, 40 usually. Perfect. That's just the right size. Yeah, it is. Yeah, see, see it. They can make coffee and keep up with everybody, and they yep. can bring yep. in enough donuts and, and kolaches down there. Yep, it's important. Yeah. And they serve a full breakfast. Full, bre- full breakfast down here. It's fantastic. Y'all got any grits down there? They do got grits. <laughs> yeah, good. That's my favorite. All right. Mind you. Hot Rod Tour of Texas coming up at the end of April. Uh, did you see my name on the list that I paid my money? I sure did. Did Absolutely, you? Absolutely, I yeah. sure did. So uh, Leslie and I are, are going to go on the on the tour as as well as awesome. well. These other two guys are going to go as well. Now whether awesome, they awesome. yeah wh- now whether you've showed favoritism to them and allowed them to get in for free, <laughs> you better not. We're, we're just going to you guys out. We're going to tag our, along. Our, our lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, we're truly looking forward to it. So. How many people are you expecting this year on the tour? Let me put it this way. How many cars on the tour? We, we, we've typically held it at 300 with this year because some people didn't get in last year. We bumped it up to 350. Um, so we're anticipating 350 cars <laughs> plus the media and staff, probably around 375, uh, around that number, 375 to 380 cars as far as staff and media and everybody else tagging along. Yeah. And the passengers, we're... Total participant count, probably around 900. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is the third year? Yes, sir, third year. Wow. Are you surprised by the number of people that uh, signed up for this? And, uh, I mean, it's grown tremendously. It grew last year tremendously. I think it almost doubled last year, didn't it? It, it, is, it, is, it has grown every year. And, and, the, and the crazy thing, I was talking to someone yesterday. We were reviewing the participants. We've had about an 87% retention. So the folks that are going are, are the Return. first ones to sign up to come back yeah. again. Yeah, veterans. You know, we need to have yeah. some, we need to have some uh, you know, silver star uh, participants <laughs> like myself that started from the very beginning. I, I don't know how you do that, but there's a thought for next year. Sure, sure. We're yeah. already working on next year. As a matter of fact, I had some meetings yesterday. Really? Yeah. Yes, yep. sir. What, are you going to try to announce something at this year's event? 
or today? Maybe that's a, good, that's a good idea. That may be something we do on the last day. That's a that's a great idea. We hadn't thought about that. You could do it now. <laughs> well, we, we don't have the we don't have the ink signed yet. We're still in negotiation. Yeah. Well, you know. That's an excuse that you guys have been using since the very beginning. Well, like, one, of the, one of the stops we negotiated for three months and ended up not going there. Well, you know, it's funny uh, how that, that stuff works out. I've been involved it, in it, events. It actually did. It, it, ended, up, it ended up we went. We got the place that we originally wanted to go to. They had a, a cancellation for a charity event they were going to hold. And once they found out that we hadn't secured anything, the owner came to us and said, we really want you all to come. So it worked out better. Yep. So you actually are going. We're going to we're going to a location in Fredericksburg that was the original spot I wanted to go to. That's Not awesome. The second one. Yeah, it worked out really well. Well, um, I'm I'm really excited that we're going to. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to. Uh, Leslie and I are going to stop there at, at Fredericksburg, and when you guys take off for the Sunday next stop i think that we're going to stay there and enjoy fredericksburg a little bit and then we'll head back so we're not going to make it all the way to the end on sunday afternoon but oh uh, you're gonna you're gonna miss out on that that road warrior plate again i know i know and you and you keep <laughs> and, and that's not to say that we can't or won't because you know you should. And, 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 and i'll entice you a little bit saturday before the saturday evening event yeah there's going to be a few hours probably three or four hours that you will be able to go and explore Fredericksburg on your own before the Saturday event. We did that intentional. Oh, really? And see, that brings so up a were, point because my wife and I are going to tag along. We're not part of it. We're going to tag along to see all the other sites that are in between while y'all are doing this. We're staying in Fredericksburg also, and that's exactly what she wants to do. The, the, uh, that's a, That was one of the reasons. Fredericksburg's uh, accommodations are a little more pricey, but we, we've kind of we keep hearing we're skipping the women's opportunity to enjoy yep. the tour. So this year we wanted to give back to them a little bit and give them a little shopping experience and uh, a little little culture if they want to have a little German food there or whatever they want to have. It's a, it's, it's a fantastic little town. It, it truly is. Uh, I, it's been a couple of years since – well, actually, it's been more than that. Longer it's than been, that, yeah. Yeah, five, six years before, uh, since I've been up there. But uh, It's grown a lot. Yeah. It's grown a huge amount. Yeah, I, and I was looking online at the hotels. Uh, there have been some new hotels, and uh, yep. to get a little bit of a reduced rate, we're going to stay, I don't know, uh, about 20 miles away. And, um, you know, we did that on purpose. And the the motel that we're staying in kind of looks like uh, a Schitt's Creek uh, motel. Uh, <laughs> it, it does. It's It's an old. It's a motor lodge. A motor yeah, lodge. That's where we're going to stay. Oh, that's awesome. Those. You got to take pictures and post them then. Yeah, that's awesome. I definitely will. And we'll take our Shits Creek sign and put it outside our door or whatever. Or, you'll, or you'll be up it. Yeah, I'll be up. The, <laughs> I'll be up the creek. Okay, so let's get the details. So Thursday night gonna, is the big reception, and what what right. place is that? This is a new one for us. This oh. year is is Victoria's two hundredth bicentennial. Okay, the city of Victoria uh, for being established. It was two hundred years ago. So we are one of eight official bicentennial events with the city of Victoria, which is really, really, really hard to get in Victoria for an automotive event. So in the process of doing this, our downtown area, historical downtown, has been going through a Main Street revitalization program, a lot more businesses down here, restaurants, bars. And that's why we're doing cars and coffee down here is to support our downtown redevelopment in that process. They put in a, a, a bunch of brand new uh, public restrooms. They put in a, 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 a big outdoor stage, a permanent stage on the square. Um, we will be the second event that's going to be held at that. So we're going to move it from aircrafters from last year to our downtown historic district. And we've been partnering and working with our, our CVB group and uh, the tourism group here, as well as Main Street program to get all the businesses to stay open late for us that night. So there'll be it'll be it'll be a happening downtown uh, a lot of little restaurants little little things for the ladies to shop and stuff. Uh, several restaurants of all varieties several bars um, we are also partnering that same night ironically this just worked out perfect for us it is our 50th anniversary of the Victoria Symphony so the Victoria Symphony is going to go on earlier in the day and then we'll take over when it gets 
gets dark. And we'll have our, our, our favorite band, the Crowbars, are going to come back and play with us. They played for us every year. Uh, they put on a, a, a great show if you've seen them. Uh, really looking forward to the downtown party, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, that sounds great. Uh, how early do I have to get there to see the Victoria Symphony? Uh, anytime before about 6 o'clock. Anytime before 6? Anytime before 6 o'clock. And they're going to be in the downtown area? They'll yes. be at the, uh, the same same stage performing. Awesome. They'll perform so, before the crowbars come on. So when it gets dark, then we'll let you in because we don't want too many people to see what you guys do. It was all after, <laughs> after there, five. There is that. Yeah. yeah. And you did say that there's plenty of bars going to be open that mm. night. Oh, yeah. There's bars, restaurants, shops, little pubs. There's all kinds of stuff open. So we could do a little uh, bar crawl down there. Yes. Sure yes. Can. We're we're working we're working with the the main street on something like that as well. Some incentives for the merchants to bring people in. What are you laughing at, Mars? <laughs> I, I I can just see all of us crawling from one bar to another, another bar, uh, literally. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've done it before, and we'll wind up staying in the park down there because we'll be too toasted to drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to the yeah. motel. I'm going to sit in with the symphony. <laughs> yeah. See if I. My wife's kind of him hawing around. I have to remind her that she's our designated walker. Well, so. are, are, you, are you are you are you driving to uh, New Braunfels? Or are you are you going to start with us on Thursday night? Well, the plan is to start on Thursday night, get a little B roll and stuff Thursday night of some of the stuff going on, and then start you. filming Saturday, Friday, all right. as well. And Thursday's going to be Thursday's going to be cool because all around the square, uh, if you Google Earth, uh, the Victoria Deleon Plaza, it's a big city block, and we're going to have all hot rods all the way around that plaza. Yeah. See. See. We need pictures. We need really video. Cool. That's it. We're taking over downtown. All yeah, right, so over downtown. what time do I need to get there to get a spot on the on the square? Anytime after 6 or before 6. We, we're going to be there probably around 4 p.m. Well, Three you better be there at 4 p.m. Because we'll be set up early. I can only imagine the chaos and everybody <laughs> trying to pick up their goodie bag that have already registered. It's going to be wild. Oh, yeah. It's going to be wild. Okay. Have we, have we hopefully gotten some help uh, at the at – the, collection desk oh yeah we've got a we've got a lot more uh a lot more staff coming in with us yeah. we're gonna separate into two tables for registration it'll be by alphabetical you'll go on one side for you know a through whatever and then the other table will be the other one and you can pick your packet up and then you go to the window at the trailer and pick up your merch it's gonna got work it. out real well good we're, we're, we're testing that at gateway okay very guys i i like it um and then friday and then friday um, Friday morning, we will another meet up. New location. Yeah, another new location. We're going to meet up where the Jaguars baseball team here plays in Riverside Park. Um, the city's offered that to us as far as a really good kickoff location. Not nearly as much traffic. I don't know if you remember, Don. Traffic was chaotic getting out, even with <laughs> yes. police escort. I know. Yes. We backed up. We backed up. I don't know. I think most of the city of Victoria, while we pulled out of there, there were so many of us. Well, I will tell you this. I mean, it was all well organized, and it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, when you're in the moment uh, there on Saturday morning when we get out on the road, I uh, love to the, the police wild. escort and all of the intersections closed for us and everybody honking. The best thing, though, I think was I don't remember what city it was that we went oh, on. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Just a second. Okay. We'll but there. all of the kids came out of school on Friday on the trip up there, and they're all sitting out, you know, a ways from the highway. And they're all, it, it's almost like a, 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 a the tear stepped kind of thing. They're all on that and sitting on the ground like and everybody's stand. waving and we're, yeah, parade stand. And we're all, you know, waving and honking the horns. It was great. I loved it. Now, now this year when we leave, leave this area, we're going to go about four blocks and there's a private school um, on the left-hand side that they're all going to be outside waving and as we leave and kind of cheering us on as we depart. I love it. <laughs> And then we're pretty much from there. We're gonna we're gonna get back to the main road, and we're gonna pass Velocity where we kicked off last year. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go up. And one of the cities Don was talking about a uh, year before last was Yoakum, Texas. Yeah, where the fire department came out, yeah. and all the kids were out. We're gonna pass through there again, the same route, right through the same exact area. And they've already been notified. Their chambers notified, so they'll be out watching for us. Wonderful. That'll be that'll yeah, be a, a, it's. A, a, it's it's hard to imagine because where I was last year, I was trying to film things coming into that first stop, but I, you know, a fifteen mile long parade of just <laughs> hot rods, just you know, it was it, wild. 
<laughs> Got to be something to see. And it's bigger this year. It's bigger so this it might year. be 20 miles. It could very well be. It's, it's, it's going to be quite a bit bigger this year. Yeah. Well, we're, we're really looking forward to it. I can't tell you how excited I am. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm working on getting new seats in the Corvette for this. Right. And now, now I'm thinking, hmm, let's see. I'm thinking about a dash cam. I think that that would be fun <laughs> as go. well. So uh, I'm, I'm working on the Corvette. I've, it's been in and out of the shop doing special things to it for the past year, getting ready for the next Hot Rod Tour of Texas. We've got several people that are doing the exact same thing that are that are really putting some miles on their cars and prepared them. After the first year or two, and they saw a lot of people break down from just not driving their cars and preparing them, they're, they're going through and putting new brakes on them, checking what radiator hose is, putting new tires on them if the tires are old. They're just, you know, really doing what they should have been doing already. Yeah, upgrading it. Are, are you bringing the Edsel car? I was going to ask, what are y'all bringing? Bringing the Edsel. Absolutely. The Edsel's coming. And the yellow truck? The, the yellow, yellow truck. truck will be there again. Good. Okay. Well, those are, those are your two leaders again. I'm just going to say because I've got to have my markers up front so I don't get too far <laughs> away from you guys. Yeah. And we will. Uh, we will in advance. We will shoot you guys the detailed route so you guys can kind of look at it as far as getting ahead of us and, and getting some scenic shots. I know last time that was kind of difficult for Don to pass. You know. A mile's worth of cars to get ahead of us. That's right. So but I, I, but I did, didn't I? But I did make it, didn't I? You did it. You did it. <laughs> How did that happen? Who, who's that? I wonder. Who's that idiot in the black Corvette that's blowing by oh, everybody, we, 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 driving we, we, on the we, sidewalk? We're, passive, we're like that guy's really got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the best one is that was one person that had to go, and we stopped in the middle of nowhere at some little uh, C store, convenience store, and it everybody pulled times. in and mobbed the place. <laughs> That was yes, so, that was one gas station got, got sworn with about a hundred of us. I asked the lady, I said, Do you need some help? She says, Yeah, but I need more than one. So you got anybody else? And all these people will be more than happy to help you. And the funny thing is, is all all the people at the counter wanted to go outside and look at the cars. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Well, uh, I'm really looking forward okay. to it. So the first stop is gonna be New Braunfels, correct? Uh, the first stop will be Shiner Brewery. Shiner, okay. Oh, good. We're going to go back there. Okay. Yep. The brewery. Ooh, nice. They have an excellent barbecue place. There. Yeah, they've got they actually got a barbecue uh, in store restaurant now, and and as well as they not only are they doing beer, they're also doing a distillery and some frozen drinks now. There. How do, no. we, how do we know? We had to go try. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that you did. <laughs> I was there right. yesterday. As a matter it's, of fact, it's called research. You have to research. research. Yeah, That's research. right. Recon. All right, so, so what I guess I meant to say is, is that our, our stayover stop the first night is New Braunfels. Yeah, first yes, night, sir. Yes, sir. First, and, first and then, night Victoria, second night New Braunfels, the third night Fredericksburg. There you go. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I, I'm yes, still sir. on track with all of that. Um, well, uh, it's great talking to you guys uh, and um, really looking forward to it. So for those people that aren't familiar with it, it's Hot Rod Tour of Texas and a uh, good Facebook site and you've got your own website and so um i'm thinking well there you go if you haven't joined up come and join us we're going to have a good time and uh, and and the movie this year at the drive-in it rained out on us last year a few of us still struck it through because it was a massive storm that came in last year i I remember yep Yep. we didn't go to the drive-in my wife was upset there was not not a lot of attendance at the drive-in so we're going to return to the drive-in this year the movie this year smoky and the bandit Perfect. So bring all those Trans Ams out, all the Le Mans police cars, and we're going to do a costume contest. <laughs> you can dress up anybody in the movie. And we've got some cool prizes for for the best costume and the best car. What was the What was the woman that played uh, opposite? She was in the the movie. Is that that's Sally Fields? Yeah. Sally Fields. You, Mike, are you going to be dressed as Sally Fields? <laughs> well, I was thinking Don's got. We could take the top off of Don's Corvette, you know, and we could throw a dress out. Put a wedding dress in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Cowboy hat on him. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I've got it already. <laughs> anyway, so, it, so if you guys know anybody who got some trans exams, it'd be a really fun thing for them to do because it's going to be a blast, no doubt. Bobby, Jeremy, it's great to talk to you guys. Good talk uh, to you too. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, we will let, be in touch for sure. Okay, yeah, and let, let's talk uh, at the beginning of April, somewhere around April okay. Fool's Day, I think would be appropriate, somewhere around there. Yeah, and we'll check in with you and see how things are going and get the latest news. We can cover the rest of the tour then. I love it. All right. Well, y'all take care down there. We don't want to give them too much today. Yeah, I know. (laughs) I know how you are. All right. Well, it's good to. And we've got. We've also got new. uh, 
new hats separate from the event hats and shirts and license plates and some cool merch that we're coming out with this year beautiful very nice and all registered all registered vehicles uh, owners who register their vehicle will get a cool uh clay uh commemorative hot rod tour of texas poker chip perfect love that oh yeah and mr mars is going to uh, supply you guys with uh, some cards to put in the goodie bags promoting awesome. promoting awesome. the in wheel time car talk show awesome That'd be great and if uh, you guys if you guys get some cool in wheel time t-shirts we'll throw them in the trailer and help sell them for you guys perfect hey man thanks so much it's great to talk to Absolutely. you we'll be in touch and we'll talk to you soon all right. Thank you all have a good morning. Be good. Thanks, you do See you then. Thanks. Bobby Sparkman, Jeremy Taylor, Hot Rod Tour of Texas. Uh, go to their Facebook page, and uh, it'll take you back to the registration. Yep. Uh, and uh, register. Come on. Join us. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to have a good old time. I think it'll be fun. Let's get in a car review, shall we? The okay. one that I uh, kind of bypassed last half hour. Kind of a that, quick one. Uh, huh? A quick one? Yeah. A quick one. There you a go. quickie. There you go. Well, well, you got, Let's go. You got five minutes. Go for it. Do it. Mr. Mars. Cool. So I don't. I, I haven't driven a Genesis vehicle per se in, in quite some time. So this is the 2024 Genesis GV60 Performance. Now this is a pure EV. Uh, the GV60 was introduced in 2023, and it is now available in three different trim levels. You got a standard, you got advanced, then you got performance is the top of the line. So again, we were driving the performance. They all. This is all built on the same architecture as the Hyundai Iconic. Ina, Tui. Yeah, the Kia Ionic. EV6. What did you say? I Petua. said the Kia EV6. You didn't say that. You said something else. <laughs> All right. And we had the, the Ionic copper color paint. Now, this I was like a $695 it. option that got a lot, and it's the color that we had there on the video. Got a lot of comments on this color because it's it, it's not really a bright in your face copper, but it's it's definitely different from most of the things you're going to see. gold to me. Copper. That's what I thought first time I saw it in the evening, but you get in the daylight and it's not quite gold either. So we got LED headlights up front. We got uh, with the auto high beams, got power folding, heated side mirrors, got a vision roof is what they call it with a shade. It's a big panoramic roof, takes up the whole roof. In fact, got a hands-free power lift gate and we're rolling on some nice 21 inch wheels that come with that performance trim level. Now, inside, we had the Napa leather seating. Now, the front seats have heated and ventilating. The rear seats are heated as well, which they are 60-40 folding seats, so you can get a little more cargo because there's not a whole lot in the back, but mm. there's room. has a 12.3 digital cluster that it also has a heads-up display that's got quite a bit of information on it as well. Is this an SUV or a sedan? It's an SUV. Okay. The 12.3-inch uh, center stack. Uh, monitor. That's where you're going to find your nav, your convenience controls. And it has a virtual gear shift that you can kind of see on the video if you get a chance to check that out. And what it does is in your, you're not using it. The car's not started. It rolls over and it's got this nice little lighted design on it. And then whenever you start the car, it flips up and there's your actual gear shift. You can see over on the video what it looks like. And it's really kind of cool looking. And the other thing I really thought that I liked about this vehicle, the glove box. The glove box is not down on the bottom of the dash. It's a drawer that comes out. And you don't have to get a flashlight and get down underneath to see what all's in there. You just so you're going to turn it into your home junk drawer yeah, real exactly, quick. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. So, you know, it was, I, it was really cool. And we had the Bang, the Bang and Olufsen Premier Audio System. Now, the power system on this. So there's a couple of different things. Now, the standard trim level has one motor. It's a rear-wheel drive. The Advance, which is the middle uh, trim level, has two motors, so it makes it an all-wheel drive. But this one has two motors with 160 watt in the front and 160 watt in the rear. And they, all of them run off of a 77.4 kilowatt battery. Now, what all this translates into 429 horsepower, and this one, because it's the performance level, has a boost button on the steering wheel. It says boost. You push it, and you get a boost, and it jumps up to 483 horsepower for 10 seconds. Wow. And you know it. If you do it just right, you really know it. It's a 516 pound-feet of torque. Push-to-pass button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Mars, it always does that on the... Uh, uh, on ramp acceleration and test. Research. So you got to have more research. Now, the EPA has got this thing rated for 97 miles to a kilowatt hour. I think it's the way it does. Yeah, that's going to help. For a city, 82 on the highway and combined 90. 
Yeah. What's uh, the estimated range of one charge, a full charge in the battery? The range on it is, I have that written down here, 235 miles for the performance. But that's what they say. Yes. And I've read some, uh, some of the other reviews that are out there online, uh, some place like Edmunds, they -hmm. actually got better than that. Wow. On their course. And uh, the other thing that's really cool about the performance one, using a 350 kilowatt charger, it says it'll go from 10% to 80% in 18 minutes. Now, I charged from 10% to 100%, but I did not have a 350 kilowatt charger. And it took me over an hour and a half. Genesis says if you've got a 240-volt charger in your house and you want to do that 10 to 80 10 to 100 percent it'll take you 7.2 hours so basically overnight so that 350 kilowatt charger you can find in some places is a really big deal now i also tell you that genesis says this thing will go from zero to 60 in less than four seconds and i would not argue with that at all i did find one thing i did not like it does have a power ignition button if you got an ignition button it starts the engine and you can go but if you got a power ignition button, you push the button, and everything's got to come on and do all its stuff and cycle before you can go. You can reach down there and put it in gear, and it ain't happening until it gets to that point. Hmm. So I, I that kind of that bugged me because I I push the button, things start lighting, and I'm ready to go. You can't go quite that quick. But it does have a really smooth ride. It's got plenty of power in it. It's got a, this particular trim level has an electronic suspension, so it kind of creates that smooth ride on it, and it just itself based on the d- drive mode. You got three different drive modes, but this is only available in the performance trim level. Now, the base model price for a Genesis GV60 is fifty-three thousand three hundred fifty dollars. Now, the base trim price for the performance level is $69,550. We had that uh, optional paint, so we were MSRP at $71,320. Now, it appears, best I could tell, you can still get that $2,500 rebate with this vehicle. Something to compare it to, the Volvo GXC40 recharge is $60,000. Mustang Mach-E is almost $60,000, and the Tesla Model Y is a little over $50,000. But it's all right in there, and it's really a nice package for that smaller SUV if you want an EV SUV. I can't wait to drive it. I don't know when that will be, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. I think you'll like it. Uh, It sounds like it. Hey, thanks for riding with us today. Quick break now. We'll be right back. You're on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. The original group of Loopy Tortilla Restaurants will have you telling your family and friends just what the original recipes mean when it comes to the best fajitas in Southeast Texas. Founder Stan Holt invites you to visit the original Loopy Tortilla near I-10 and Highway 6. Here's the original house that inspired the design of all the rest and the original charm that helped make Loopy Tortilla the go-to destination for Houston Tex-Mex. Speaking of original, nothing can compete with the original lime pepper marinade that everyone will agree makes Loopy Tortilla award-winning beef fajitas the best anywhere. Loopy Tortilla Katy is another location that gives you the same quality and service Houstonians have come to expect at Loopy's. It's located just off I-10 of the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard in Katy. Find yourself in Aggie Land? Head to the Loopy Tortilla and College Station. Located just around the corner from Kyle Field, it's a great place to enjoy those famous frozen margaritas before or after the game. Headed east to Louisiana? Stop in at the Loopy Tortilla in Beaumont. It too's on I-10. You can't miss it. The original group of Loopy Tortilla restaurants invites you in for the best Tex-Mex anywhere. You own a car you love. Well, why not let Gulf Coast Auto Shield protect it? Houstonian John Gray invites you to his state-of-the-art facility to introduce you to his specialist team of auto enthusiasts. We promise you'll be impressed. Whether you're looking to massage your original paint to a like-new appearance, apply a ceramic coating, install a paint protection film, nano-ceramic window tent, or new windshield protection called ExoShield, Gulf Coast Auto Shield is where Houston's car people go. Curbed your wheels? Instead of buying new, why not have them repaired? How about a professionally installed radar detector? Gulf Coast Auto Shield does that too. Get a peek inside the shop and look at the services offered by getting online and heading to gcautoshield.com. Better yet, stop by their facility at 11275 South Sam Houston Tollway, just south of the Southwest Freeway, and get a personal tour. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your place to go for all things exterior. Call them today, 832-930-5655 or gcautoshield.com. Want to feel good about something special you did for someone special? 
In Wheel Time and the original Loopy Tortilla group of Tex-Mex restaurants have joined together to help a very worthy cause, God's Garage, a Christian-based 501c3 charity. We know there are lots of places and organizations out there where you can donate a car, truck, or SUV. But we're asking you, our car enthusiast family, to consider donating to God's Garage. Visit godsgarage.org and learn about its mission, the women that have been helped, how each one is screened, and about their Restore You program. A car donation is an easy way to make a difference in the lives of others. God's Garage needs good operating vehicles, but will take all types in working and non-working condition. Make your heart and soul feel good by donating your gently used vehicle and help support single mothers, widows, and wives of deployed military at godsgarage.org. That's it for this podcast episode of the In Wheel Time Car Show. I'm Don Armstrong, inviting you to join us for our live show every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our InWheelTime.com website. Podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart Podcast, Podcast Addict, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Music. Keep listening, and we'll see you soon.